Hello everyone, my name is Sunil and welcome to my YouTube channel Sunil Soft Tech. In this video, I will explore the important guidelines for traveling from other countries to India. When you book the ticket online, please read all the guidelines and also check the airline website which you are willing to travel. If you are booking a ticket through agent, please get in touch with the agent and uh, get the details as much as you can from the agent so what are the documents required what is the test required so the agent will give you more information the rules and regulations also documents are required is differ from country to country and from airline to airline so it is important to visit the airline website also once you book your ticket once your booking is done Please do the web check-in as soon as possible so that you will get the seat number which is uh, required in the future process which I am going to show you. Now go to the website newdelhiairport.in In this now you need to go here. You can see here Air Suvita. Air Suvita. You need to go here. Click on here. And you can see here fill self reporting form and this is mandatory for every 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 passenger arriving into india this is very 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 important because even if you don't fill it online you have facility to fill it manually on once arrival but once you fill this form and carry this form along with you it's very useful so we'll see how this is going to happen just click on this form and you can just just for example you can just enter some random number you can see here so as i just said in the previous you need to enter your seat number here it's like 20 kilo the star represents it's mandatory so now here you need to upload your copy passport copy now once you come down once you finish everything now you see here you need to select all of the three and you can read here I would undergo mandatory quarantine for 14 days there is 7 days paid institutional quarantine at my own cost followed by seven days isolation at home with self-monitoring of health and once you're done with this just submit this and you will receive an email with a copy of what you entered everything so that's how self-reporting form to be done now we'll go back to the main website now we'll look for a exemption form this is called exemption form apply for exemption exemption is actually like if you want to skip the institutional quarantine then you need to fill this form and you need to specify why you want to uh, exempt this institutional quarantine so as you can see here as the state rules of Karnataka, Kerala and Odisha all asymptomatic passengers will undergo home quarantine all asymptomatic passengers having the first airport of entry located in these states have to undergo 14 days mandatory home quarantine hence the exemption is not required so this form is not required for these for these three states this form is not required we'll see here so as you once you already done with the self-reporting form so you will receive one unique number you can enter that one here and just click on the next so here the rest of the details will be captured automatically so once you're done with this just click on next now this is almost like the same but you need to select here gender male female and go down go down select everything select everything and you can see here exemption category so exemption category when you come down 
you'll see here what are the categories available for the exemption under this according to the category you need to upload the file you need to upload the file here to upload the file which are the documents is required you need to see here you can see here for the first category second category third category fourth category and fifth category you need to uh, submit this form 72 hours before your travel even if it is less than 72 hours also just try to apply online for this exemption form and just wait for the approval so once it will get approved you will receive an email say stating that it is approved there is also a chance once you carry your RT-PCR negative report you can show this report on arrival and you can still exempt the paid institutional quarantine so that is also one more chance if you are carrying a negative report which is less than 96 hours which has done less than 96 hours prior to your departure so you can still exempt the paid institutional quarantine but one more thing you can read here I agree to undergo 14 days home quarantine in the above mentioned address if my application is approved if rejected I agree to undergo the institutional quarantine as per the government norms and approved center so that's how it is if your application is approved you can skip this uh, paid institutional quarantine if not if rejected but you have to undergo institutional quarantine as per the government norms and approved centers